Hey guys, so this is going to be my second book review and it is on the book In the Shadow of the Lamp by Susan Dunlap. I don't want there to be a glare. Um, this was in the library haul that I posted yesterday. I'm not going to read the flap because I read that in my haul so you can check that out. Um, so instead for this plot summary that I'm going to read with no spoilers is the one that I posted on my Goodreads um, website. So I'll put the link down there for my Goodreads profile. Okay, so I wrote, it is 1854 and Britain is assisting their French allies in the Crimean War. Molly Fraser is working as a parlor maid until she hears news of a woman named Florence Nightingale in search of nurses to help the troops in Turkey. Through her luck and determination to prove herself, Molly is able to join the team of nurses. But Molly is in for a shock. The Turkey hospital is full of blood, death, rats, and lights, lice. Florence Nightingale immediately takes control of the harsh conditions and begins to understand Molly's natural intuition for nursing. Soon enough, Molly is placed in the wards where she assists doctors with various tasks such as cleaning bandages to, to saving a man's life during appendicitis. Due to her young age and striking looks, Molly soon calls the attention of a young Scottish doctor, but Molly also has an admirer back at home who recently joined the army to be closer to her. When Molly opens her heart up to love, does she find comfort in the heroic, charming doctor or the hometown boy soldier who has always believed in her? So that's the review I wrote, or plot summary I wrote, excuse me. Um, first I'm going to start off with how I rated it on Goodreads. I rated it 3 out of 5, and the reason being is because, yes, I liked the book, but no, I did not love the book. Um, because the basic 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 plot you know a girl has two guys in her life and who does she choose I feel like is so cliched I feel like different authors have taken their own aspects onto that kind of a basic basic plot and made it more interesting um like the Twilight series um Dear John by Nicholas Sparks uh books like that where it has a different aspect to it. This, it was very dry to the point. Um, yeah, so I didn't like, I didn't like how there weren't like very many twists to the different loves, you know, it was just very dry, plain. Um, also, I didn't like how, uh, it was kind of like at the end, I felt very rushed. Like, it was just like, boom, bang, done. And I was like, okay, because some things were left unanswered. And it wasn't even like, you know, they don't, they did, she didn't even leave like a cliffhanger as to some of the things. For example, Molly has this special talent, and I'm not going to give it away, but it's never explained. And strange things happen to Molly, which are also never explained. So... I kind of felt like the ending was rushed and that was never given an explanation. Also when I was reading it, this is probably just a really like nitpicky thing about me, but um, as an English major I guess I kind of just noticed that, but there were some inconsistencies in the book um, and that kind of bothered me. There was um, a character, a character mishap, I don't remember, I think she, I guess the editor missed this, but somehow the, um, there was a character misnamed somewhere in the book, and for a while I was like, who is this character? And I realized that I think it was an accidental name, um, for a different character, so there was that, and also there was some, you know, mechanic errors and things like that that I noticed, but that's just a nitpicky thing about me that kind of just bothered me <laughs> really bad. Um, but yeah, it was an okay book, um, kind of reminded me of Grey's Anatomy a bit, and, um, what was really funny, I think, was someone commented on Goodreads, their review was, um, they didn't like the book, and they were like, if you like Twilight, and you like the movie Pearl Harbor, chances are you'll like this book, which is kind of true, because this is what the book is. It is 
the movie Pearl Harbor and the book Twilight combined in one Minds for the Empires. So it's an average book. Um, but I think if you like historical fiction and war kind of interests you, then maybe you should look into it. Um, except there wasn't a lot of the war in here. Um, Molly made some references to the war that was going on. Um, like she felt some sympathy towards the men, but there was never like a... I don't know, more attention brought to the war. And I actually saw a lot of people complain about the lack of attention that was placed on the war. Um, so again, that's just a minor thing, but you know, that bothered some people and bothered me a bit. <sighs> but yeah, that's the end of my review. Three out of five stars. It was okay. Um, I liked it. Didn't love it. Not raving about it. Okay, so that's the end of my review. And just a side note, uh, I want to, I have five subscribers now since my last video. And I'm really happy and excited, so I want to thank those five people for subscribing to me. And I'm hoping by the end of this video that maybe I'll get seven. So if I get seven after this, I'd be the happiest girl in the world. But I just want to thank the five people for following me. And um, continue on for uh, another video. I'm reading Hourglass right now, so maybe there'll be a video on because I really like it so far. So thank you so much guys and I'll put all my links down in the down bar. Thank you.